Every year, the City of Austin's Public Works Department spends thousands of hours maintaining hundreds of miles of streets. Joining us today to talk about the aging process of those streets and what we can do to prevent their decay is our pavement operations engineer, Ron Kane. This street has a couple of examples of the cracking process that we'd like to show and the kind of cracking that we're trying to prevent. What we can do is look at the, uh, at the individual cracks and show how they progress uh, as they weather and age. We have some very small cracks that we're trying to prevent from becoming bigger cracks. The cracking process starts as the surface oxidizes and the asphalt dries out. And you can see that there are some smaller cracks that are very small and tiny that tend to open up and allow moisture and water to get into that. As that process continues, the cracks grow, they'll get larger until they become cracks that you can actually see in the street. As the water gets down in here, the crack tends to get more water into it. That enhances the oxidation process and it starts to penetrate down underneath and weaken the underlying layer. It also encourages asphalt to, the, the gravel to break off the sides and the crack actually starts to grow. That process will continue until you have very large cracks that become basically causing the start of potholes. So Ron explained how those tiny cracks can become potholes. Let's talk about the process we use to prevent that. At Street and Bridge, our crews get started early, gathering the equipment and the materials that they need to get out on the street by daybreak. As the crews arrive in the neighborhood, efficiency and coordination is key, and trucks loaded with rock and tankers of emulsion are heated and ready to go. But when cars are parked on the street, we can't complete our work. So crews may need to knock on residents' doors to request that they move them. We paper the end of the street to form a straight line, and the crews get to work. There are hand applications for the hard to reach parts of the street, and then the emulsion is spread in a thin layer by a large truck, and the chip seal is immediately placed in a perfect stream across the hot layer of liquid. Right behind, the roller heads out to make sure that the rock is pushed down into the surface, creating a watertight resistant bond and covering those tiny cracks that Ron talked about earlier. Within a day or two, once the street is well secured, sweepers will come out and remove the excess rock. So this seal coat process is done over and over again every summer on many miles of city streets. But we want to talk to you about what you can do to help take care of the streets in your neighborhood. Let's walk through a few examples. Your driveway plays the most important role in maintaining your streets. You want to make sure that when you're coming in or leaving your driveway that you're driving gently and carefully. Don't turn the wheel when you're at a standstill. Because what can happen is you can turn over those little rocks and pull up some of the emulsion that we've put on the streets. Spots like this are what we're trying to avoid. Braking hard, accelerating, turning the wheel while you're at a standstill can all create these types of spots where the trap rock has been pulled up and the emulsion underneath is showing. Another place you may see some of that sticky emulsion is along the gutter line. You want to avoid these areas for the first 48 hours, including your pets, your kids, your bikes. Stay away from the gutter area. There's loose rock, there's emulsion. But don't worry about the loose rock. We need that to cover the street evenly. And we'll come back in a couple of days to sweep it up. One last tip. When approaching intersections, please make sure to brake and accelerate slowly and gently. This will keep the trap rock in place and avoid those emulsion sticky spots that we showed earlier. Remember, Austin, this is your street. We want to make sure that we can help you to preserve it, but you play a role too. Make sure in the first 48 hours that you're keeping pets, bikes, kids off of the street so that we have time to let it cure so that it's the best surface it can be. If you do have problems, we want to hear from you. Make sure and call the city's 311 or visit our website at www.cityofaustin.org slash publicworks for more information. Thank you.